So hi guys, it's Jonathan Rivera here. So today I will be uh, teaching you on how to transfer your video files from your camcorder to your personal computer. So I have here the Sony uh, DCR DVD 201. So this one uses uh, mini discs such as the DVD-R, DVD-RW, and DVD-RW-DR version. So I prefer that you must use your DVD-RW because you can transfer your files from this camcorder, from the disk of this camcorder to your personal computer. So I will show you where, uh, where is the disk in this camcorder. So you just have to open this one. So here. So I suggest that you must have the uh, the Sony DVD RW so that it will be more more compatible with the unit. After that, you will open this camcorder. So you know, uh, for the battery of this camcorder, it uses Info Lithium M. So you must have the M type kind of battery. I have here the. NP FM50 and also I have the NP uh, QM90 but this one is a, has a lot of uh, battery charge unlike this one this camera allows you to have also this one when you remove this cap you can put your microphones here And also some uh, lighting or LED lights. So once you have opened this uh, camcorder, still it, it is still closed. So you have here something like a cir circular or object, <laughs> and it is on the it is pointed on the video then this one is the camera for shooting photos and this one is for the gallery so you will put this in here in the gallery here you can see on this LED screen that i have recorded some video files over there and once you have recorded some files in here you are now ready to transfer your uh your videos to your personal computer so here I will show you first that you must have the following or you must have this kind of cord which is this one. This is a mini USB cord then you can transfer it now. Then at this moment, you will choose the finalize so that it will finalize. Because if you don't finalize the, the disk, you will not see anything on your computer. So you need to finalize everything. So here, finalize. And then there's a setup in there. You just have to, you don't have to do any disk title then you should uh, choose execute then go to yes then it takes a little few minutes to finalize and once it is finalized you are already ready for transferring files to your personal computer So that now we have finalized everything, you will see here, and you will up end there. We will just press again the finalize to end it, and now you're ready to go. Then you will have here your uh, the hub, the hub for or the port for your mini USB. Here. 
So you will now see that the camcorder is already connected. It, it is already on USB mode and it is now connected on the computer. <laughs> That's so Marte. Computer. So what you're going to do now is you must open this on your new window. So the DCIM is for the photos. So I have here the photo that I shot in the house. It's very messy. Then you have here the videos. Let's go back in here. So you can see a VOB file type. So these are the videos that I shoot. So I will I will be getting at least two. So if you are using a Mac, this will be a little. You're going to have a little trouble since I have I also have a Mac, and what I'm going to do is. I will convert this dot VOB file type to MP4. So you just have to uh, find a converter for it. So here in my computer, uh, this file is not plain because it is not uh, readable. So what I'm going to do is go to Google and I'll search a dot vob to mp4 so choose this link then you will select the file then go to your desktop and then choose at least one then it will start converting convert Here is the video that I got for the from that dot VOB file type. So it's already here. VTS03.mp1.mp4. .mp, then you just have to download it. So you can see here that the file is already downloaded. Then you just have to open it and it you can view it now. So that is how you are going to transfer your files from your camcorder to your personal computer. So now what will happen to the disk? So you can still use the disk. So you just what you're going to do is just unplug everything from your personal computer. Just eject it. So here it already opened, so you can adjust, eject it, then close your camcorder, then open it again. So once you open your camcorder, Here, you already have your, it's already done. Since it is already finalized, just like what I did a while ago, you need to unfinalize it. So here is the setup. So go to the disk. You, have, you will see a disk uh, icon here. Then since then after you get to the disk uh, icon, 
you will choose the unfinalized here that's the unfinalized then execute yes so again you will again wait for it to unfinalize so once everything is unfinalized you just have to press setup again to end the session then you can record videos again on your mini dvd rw disc here So that is how you're going to transfer your files from your old camcorder to your personal or modern computer. So I hope that this video helps you a lot for your, uh, if you're using old camcorders. And since this is the only one that I have, there are other types of camcorders that uses uh, tapes and other kind of memory storage drive so i hope that this kind of video will help you uh, for your uh, transferring of files to your personal computer from your camcorder so that's it bye bye